All right, Ryobi is at it again, and this time they are taking on the redesign of the high volume inflator. Now, this is 44, 40% quieter than the previous version, which is very welcomed. Now, a lot of people know this thing for blowing up air mattresses, and it's got these really cool onboard storage pinch valves that go on the end of it and it has narrow and it has typical pinch valves but all that does is that just slides right in there connects in and it always stays there this connects out just like that you turn it on you turn it off with a click of a button and it has a little baggie too now this little baggie has a couple little things in it and i'm just going to pour them out right here if you have a narrow little valve you can do that for a pinch valve and it has this really cool crevice tool right there, as you can see. So you can get in all those little spaces, and that slides right on the end, just like so. Can you all see that? It actually has a really cool pattern, too, whenever it blows everything out of its way. Now, let's go ahead and see what this does, and how long does it actually take to pump up a queen-size typical mattress? Let's go! Now, uh, as you all see, that took like a minute and 33 seconds. Not too shabby for this little thing. Now, it can do that 50 times on a single battery charge. Now, that's pretty awesome. Now, all you have to do is you're going to take this. You're going to put it right there, just like so. And you are going to be able to deflate it as well. Then you can pack it up and store it. You don't have to roll around on it and do all that other jazz. Now... That's pretty good. Now this, when it was blowing up, was right around 76 dB. Whenever I flipped it upright, right around 80 dB. That is a lot quieter than the previous version of this particular tool. Now, that's all well and good, but that's not what I use this for the most. As you can see, I have a mess of sawdust here. Now, I do a ton of woodwork and really cool custom trophies and different projects and all this really fun stuff and that leaves me with a lot of wood and stuff that I need to clean off. Now, I could sweep it, but depending on what I'm using, it's just easier to blow it off. So, I'm going to show you what I use it for. You can make your own opinion of what you think about it. And that's it, that's all it took. Now, we can use a shot blower, but I'll tell you what, it's a bit too loud and it's a bit too big. But this right here, it did the job, it did it quick, it did it quiet. And now I can get on to whatever I was doing. But I think we need to test out this too. Okay, so why was it important for me to show you the little crevice bit? Now, what I wanted to show you is that it was an even spread and it actually cleared everything evenly. And that's actually kind of cool in a lot of different ways and that it didn't use a lot of force either because this isn't really variable speed. You have one speed, but you control the force with the different tips that you put on it. And this is pretty good machined or well injection molded tips very good robusted uh, robust plastic and all that great stuff there you can see where that comes off so you can put different attachments on and i truly love how it sounds what it does everything about it it's much improved and we needed an improvement in this tool and they did it and they made it a whisper series and only for 35 bucks and that's for the tool only don't worry, you get all the attachments with it and all the other stuff. It's not a bad deal, especially if you're going to be cleaning up places, getting your keyboards, doing all the other different things that everybody does 
for this type of stuff and new inventive ways. I hope that you all found this useful. I hope seeing this demonstrated maybe gave you the information you needed if you're looking to upgrade or just invest in one of these tools. If it did help you, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you do decide to subscribe. If you do decide to subscribe, I would much appreciate it. And until next time, my name's Brent. This is Live Free and Tool On. Get out there. Go build something. Make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Pass it on to the next generation. And we will all be better for it at the end of the day. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.